What up guys, it is XGen Framps and I'm coming with another tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be on basic color correction just using curves and like basic after effects it comes with it. Um, if you want I will do a magic magic bullet looks which is a little more advanced plugin for color correction later on but right now I'm going to do curves so I've already imported my clip made it, and I made a composition if you don't know how to do that just go to my first tutorial the After Effects Basics so I'm gonna drag the clip in to uh, composition and now I always just make it out so it's like this so all the black lines are disappeared from the HDPVR so this is just like a GB game I did so we'll just go to like a part of the game okay right here here's good okay so basically what you wanna do is now you can either click click on the clip Make sure don't double click it, make sure it's still in composition. So it's highlighted. And you can either type in curves over here in your effects and presets. And then you can just drag it on like that. Or you can just go to effect, right? Click it. Effect, color correction, curves. So now as you can see in your in effects little tab over here, right here there'll be a little box with like lines and shit in it so basically RGB is like lightness and darkness so as you can see as I'm moving this up on the screen it shows that like it's got lighter so now if I just make and here is to reset that 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 uh, type of color correction so this little line right here so and then if I drag it down it makes it darker so I'll just reset it again and then so if you go to red it adjusts like all the like the redness of the thing so if I bring it up it will get more red if I bring it down it will get more like greenish and take out the red of, of the color correction and then if I come down again to green same thing with this it will add more green to go up and then to go down it will take out the green of the clip and I just reset blue same thing again adds blue take it out takes out the blue and then alpha alpha don't mess with that it's really nothing so I wouldn't mess with alpha okay now I'll just reset make sure all these are reset okay now we'll just make a quick little color correction right here so I'm gonna you don't you want your color corrections to be a little bit lighter you want it to be like if you want it to like be lighter just bring it up like that but I like to like bring out the colors so to bring out the colors just make click on the line here and drag it up to make it like more lighter like this and then drag it down just how you like it I like it like that it kind of gives it like a little one sec a little down okay that's good and then if I go to red I usually do like the S technique this is the S technique where you bring one up or down and the other one the opposite so it kind of makes like a little S as you can see right here so if you want a cool color correction obviously you want less or less red if you want a more warmer type of color correction which I like you bring the red up so we're just gonna make like a, a moderate color correction. So bring the green. And if you like put like the points like different spots, it um it just makes it like it can just give you different effects. So if I like put this up here and put this down here, see it gives you like a different effect than I it would do if I put a point here and here. So just thing to let you know. Now let's go to blue. Bring it down. So as you can see, now that is our uh, color correction. One sec, just to show you. Just add this clip again. And now if you see, so here's our color corrected clip. And here's the non-color corrected. So as you can see, it looks n much sharper just from using that basic color correction thing. And when you get a little more advanced, you can start using the different, all the different things. Like, like 
hue and saturation, like all the other stuff. So, but I would say after you mastered curves for a little bit and like know what you like, then just um, get the Magic Bullet Looks plugin and that will be a lot better because you can do a lot different effects. You can add vignette and all this other stuff. So, a tutorial with that will come soon. I'm not really comfortable with Magic Bullet because I just got it like a week ago. So, when I get comfortable with it, I'll make a tutorial on it. And next tutorial, it will probably be targeting, like a target effect. So, if you want to see that, make sure you leave a like because it motivates me to make more tutorials. So, if you didn't notice, I'm kind of. I'm kind of sick right now. I have a head cold, so that's why I might be sounding a little retarded, choppy, and Jewish, as All for the Blood would say. And yeah, so that was my tutorial for today. Leave a like, a comment of what else you would like to see other than targeting, because I am going to do that legendary XD or Mr. Legendary requested that. Go check his channel out. It's Mr. Legendary with two eyes. Uh, or it's um, Legendary XD with two eyes at the end. So, yeah, peace, guys.